the longest event of the day, 12 and a half laps for the women's 5,000 metres. <laughs> Yep. In 16, the Welsh champion, Beth Kidger. Quite warm out there, isn't it? In 14, Quite warm out there. Yeah. yeah. Then the great champion with the Olympic qualifying standard for Blackburn, Jessica Jung. Also with the Olympic qualifying mark for Swansea, Verity Ockenden. And Neil Harry and Saskia Miller. We're on AC, Emily Kearney. Representing Cardiff, Jennifer Nesbitt. Hip 7, for Cambridge and Coleridge, Hannah Irwin. Representing Aberdeen at 6, it's Naomi Lack. For Cardiff, Charlotte Arthur. For the City of Norwich, Sarah Astin. European Indoor 3000 metre champion at three for Wakefield, Amy Eloise Markov. And draw two, Mari McLennan for Preston. Three withdrawals, Amish McColgan, Lily Partridge and Charlotte Dan. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. On your marks. The only discussion was which athletes you said to stay in front of the mound. Which goes, goes against the uh, selection policy we were supposed to race. Unless you've got a medical. So, first two, if they have that Olympic qualified mark, guaranteed a place in Tokyo. It's 12 and a half laps of the track. The Olympic qualifying standard is 15 10. So it's the two athletes with Olympic qualifying marks. Amy, Amy Eloise Markov has uh, run an Olympic standard, but I think there was a question mark about whether the track had a curve on the inside, so that's been looked at. Pocket and Judd, the athletes in pursuit. New height in the pole vault final, 5 metres and 30. Adam Hayes on the runway, opened at 5.15, went over first time. Got himself therefore at the moment in the gold medal position. Silver at the moment is Benjamin. His five metre clearance. And on the casualties, Jeff at five metres and fifteen in this men's pole vault final. And on the far side of the track in the triple jump final for men, we have a new leader. It is Ben Williams with 16.37 in round two. Significant development for him after a foul in round one because he does have in the lone competitor in the Olympic qualifying mark. Oladipo leading the women's discus final, 52 metres and 90. Ahead of Duke wins 50 metres and 71. Holder currently in the bronze medal position, 50 metres and 41. A few more throws until the end of the first round. Francis in the circle, Eden Francis. So it's Wakefield athletes in uh, first and third. A very similar best for Swansea for Verity Ockham that we've hit 12 in fourth place. And the two Cardiff athletes, Jimmy Nesbitt Rogers. and Charlotte Hart with the blue, white, and red. Rogers. 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 Adam Hay waiting patiently for his first attempt. Five metres and thirty. Francis' distance, 50 metres and 55 in the discus, slots early doors into the bronze medal position. Jessica Judd in second place, the Blackburn Harrier, has already been selected at 10,000 metres for the Olympic Games in Tokyo. It would be a challenging uh, timetable to double, but the option could be hers, but we'll have to wait to see how this race pans out as they come round with 10 laps to go. This will be one kilometre. If they're on Olympic qualifying schedule, it would be 302 as they go through the line. Polo for Hay, Roy 3 was waiting patiently.
Yeah. 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 You give it a nod for his first attempt at 5.30. Yeah, UEFO lands, second attempt, and that men's triple jump gets a white flag. He's brought you up to speed with that one in terms of Williams being the leader with 60 metres and 37. So across next to the name of Adam Haber, Harry Koppel entering the men's pole vault final. His first attempt coming up at 5 metres and 30. All the memories from last year's British record of 5 metres 85 will hopefully be flooding back to Harry Koppel. He's done 5.65 this season so far. Amy Eloise Markov. Jessica Judd, Emily Kearney, Sarah Astin, uh, uh, Verity Ockenden, Charlotte Arter, and the fifth member of that uh, group is Jenny Nesbitt, also of Cardiff. So Harry Koppel has the Olympic qualifying. That's a height of 5 metres and 80. That box is ticked. And pole up for Koppel then. First attempt at 5 metres and 30. back for his second attempt at his opening height, a co and no jump in the men's triple jump final. Kirsty Law, the Sel Harriers athlete, who had a no throw in the final of this women's discus throw in the first round. Gets a white flag, just awaiting her distance Jeff as she gets up and going. Indeed, 52-56. Law goes into second place. Julian Reed in the triple jump in fourth position, 15.83 in the first round. Adam Hay. Getting himself into position for his second attempt at 5 metres and 30. So Emily Kearney of Wirral pulls out. She was in that leading group, which is now down to 5 in the women's 5,000 metres. So Reed jumps, on, Hay goes over. And have one more attempt. Adam Hay, get that height of 5 metres and 30. A couple of no jumps back to back. So the 5,000 metre runners need your help. The uh, target time is the Olympic qualifier at 15.10. And they're on about 15.20 pace at the moment. It's got a little bit quicker, but as they go in front of you, give them some support. Oladipo goes into the circle in the women's discus, the event leader, 52 metres and 90 in the first round. 57.26 this year, a lifetime best for the Blackheath and Bromley athletes. Records a no throw, so we'll stay in that gold medal position ahead of Law and Dukovin. Group going down the back straight in the women's 5,000 metres with the Commonwealth Games just uh, barely 400 days away in Birmingham. The first two are for England and the back three are for Wales. So there's some Commonwealth Games qualification that could be achieved here as well. And when they cross the 100 metre point on this lap, it will be exactly halfway. Couple, second attempt at 5.30. 7, 38, 39, 40, 7, 40. Oof. What a bounce of the bar, but it stayed on. That's all that counts. Onwards and upwards to the next height for Couple, if he chooses to go up to 5 metres and 40. Still second and third attempt to come for Hague, of course. Thank 
of pushing it on, which is probably what I do. Currently in the bronze medal position with 50 metres and 71. Gone over 56 metres this year for a lifetime best. The lead at the moment, Dollar Depot's 52 metres and 90. As Adam Hay makes his final adjustments to socks and shoes before his third attempt at 5 metres and 30. When the 5,000 metre runners cross the finish line this time, it will be 3,000 metres done and 2,000 metres to go. To be right on schedule, they would need to be around about 9.06. The time seems to be drifting away by about 7 or 8 seconds. So Nathan Douglas in the men's triple jump final on the back straight. Just on the 15 metres on his opening jump. Poised and ready. Second group. We're up now. Just to pick up and just some pace. Reminder: William still leading with his second round jump of 16 metres and 37. Third and final attempt, hold up at 5 metres and 30. Adam Haig, excuse me, 16.20 for Nathan Douglas. Now, uh, three failures for Haig. So, have a look at his scorecard. He went over 5 metres and 15 in that silver medal position. Braun's got Brent to Benjamin, who went over 5 metres exactly. Four laps to go in the 5,000 metres. It is still Amy Eloise Markoff ahead of Jessica Judd and Verity Ogrendon. On the big scoreboard, though, live results of that men's pole vault. Harry Popple still in the competition. The Wigan AC Anthony British record holder. Turned over at 5 metres and 30. And 1,500 metres to go. The athletes in second and third have the Olympic qualifying mark. Amy Eloise Markov has run that time, but a uh, question mark against that performance because of the infield curve or lack. So, 5 metres and 50. You can see on the scoreboard the next hike that Harry Copper wants to attempt. Has another British title to his name, so he wants to stick it up a little bit more in terms of height here this afternoon. Here we go. Three laps to go. The three English women in contention. Markov, Judd, and Ogden well, for Wales, and then uh, Nesbitt and Arthur for Wales as well in the colours of Cardiff. Nesbitt and Arthur for Wales. We both English who come to Cardiff to university. <laughs> John Newton was hubs. Yeah. They're not losing ground though, are they? Jessica Judd won this title here back in September. They're not going to get back on then, uh, track though. Around the 1500 metre final about 20 minutes later. So Harry Coppell, end of the right way. Yeah. The bike selected by himself. They reached the limit, they sold out. Of course. Into a 10 five metres and 50. Probably wouldn't get all you want. Yeah. Well they they um they sold out. So it says, so the sold all the allocation they all had. To go, an 800 well, meter dash. Club, the order is pretty much as it was on that one. Yeah. Still Markov so in the lead. Yeah. This is Lance. Second, yeah. Ockenden in third. Are they our medalists with two laps to go? The two Cardiff athletes with Jenny Nesbitt and Charlotte Parton leading the chase. Oh. 
Jessica Judd taking it off with a lap and a half to go in the 5,000 metres, a big surge of pace, but the response is immediate. So, Harry Cockrell then, first attempt at 5 metres and 50, bowl up for the UK record holder. Jitters weren't their early doors for Harry Cockle. Adjustments have been made. Good clearance, onwards and upwards. So it certainly got very quick, but they're still locked together. Different order now, though. Jess Jard at the bell. From Mark and then Mark Hopkins the inside. So the medals have been decided, maybe, but the order that we have just leaves. Ockenden moving through the second, past Markov. 200 metres to go. Still Judd, but only by a stride now. So a terrific burst of speed. They're going to be within about five seconds of Olympic qualifying oh, because no, of the closing no, speed. Back. Judd. Ockenden, going to the wire on this one, still Jessica Judd, hanging on, great race from this straight. Jessica Judd is the Bulletproof champion, Amy Eloise Markov, and then Berenice Ockenden in. takes bronze. Well, how galling is that time? 15-10-0-1 at the Olympic qualifying is 15-10-0-0. Jess Judd already had it. You can see what Amy Eloise Markov was aiming for. She did most of the toil on those opening uh, 10 or 11 laps on a hot day in Manchester. So news on the hot wire. My ear is Harry Cockle's next height is due to be 5 metres and 70. The gold medalist, looking to put it up another 20 centimetres. Well, our final three finishers coming into the straight on a very warm day and a very isolated race. Let's bring them all home in style. Starting with Sarah Astin in the colours of the city of Norwich. It's been warm out there. And Mari McLennan also on the Preston. Oladipo into the circle in the third round of the women's discus final in the silver medal position after Eden Francis just threw out to 54 metres and 4 centimetres. Oladipo turns.